Hey everybody, happy Sunday morning to you all. Hope you guys have been having a good weekend so far. Today I thought I would do our driving video that we did from Weatherford, Texas. Yeah, you may notice I'm sitting here by the railroad tracks. I'm here down at the Millville Riverfront Park, just awaiting a passing train if I can happen to catch one by chance. If not, it's not a big deal because I've been trying to power walk and get a little bit of exercise in. So it was a beautiful day to do that. And since I got to where I like to sit to experience any trains coming by here, I figure while I'm waiting, I would go ahead and edit a couple of videos. And in this case, it's our driving video from Weatherford, Texas. This was from our trip back in late June, early July, and we were able to do that thanks to Kayla's mother for letting us use her pickup. I love that truck. I would love to have a brand new F-150. But anyway, it was such a beautiful evening, and Kayla and I just wanted to go out for a ride. And even though Kayla and her family are used to Weatherford, they've lived there their whole lives, you know, it's just, to me as an outsider, it's a beautiful town. And I like to drive around, so I thought I would share that with you guys, driving around a couple of the main roadways and around the courthouse, and Kayla would narrate a little bit. So you'll hear her talk from here and there, and we'll just drive around as the sun sets on a beautiful summer evening. this town. I know you guys have been here. I just like it. You can't even tell they're open. I know. You can say whatever oh, you want. I'm going to. Okay. But I know. They look dead. <laughs> All right, folks of Weatherford, and we are coming up on our right here. We have Tiger Mart, which when I was a kid, they used to have a really awesome pizza place called Pizza Inn that was connected to it. But the place was owned by Indians and it smelled like B.O. and never had <laughs> so we'll have to talk about, you see those everywhere, mm -hmm. little people about to do. To the right, you will see Tractor Supply Planet Fitness and R.I.P. The Escape, which was also known as Hole in Fun. Mm -hmm. To the left, there's Chicken and Liquor, Woo. Chicken and, and Liquor. Woo. <laughs> and Racetrack, whoop-de-woo, whoop -de woo 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 Alright, and to the right, to the right, that was the old Kroger, R.I.P. Mm -hmm. Kroger, you are missed. And then there's Long John Silver, so what do you do? <laughs> Y'all love me as a tour guide, don't you? Yeah, I do. Thank God I'm, I'm muting out this audio, mm -hmm. or some of it anyway. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Alright, and... As you will take a look to our lovely left, you will see Central Christian Church, which is one of our larger churches in Weatherford. Mm -hmm. I went to preschool there when I was a kid. They treat me bad. Okay. Mom's on the right. Mom's on the left. Smoothie King on the right. Dennis on the left. <laughs> that Dennis is new. So, Mattress to Go used to be Subway. That was the first Subway I ever ate at. Mm -hmm. And there's a Walgreens. This shopping, center, yeah. this shopping center used to be an actual grocery store and they demolished it to build a shopping center. That Mexican place is bomb as hell. That's cool. The pizza place is authentic weather for food. Fuzzies you'll get food poisoned from. <laughs> Whataburger is good. The Can't tea, go wrong with Whataburger. The tea place is under a year old. And the, 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 the Anytime Fitness, obviously, if you can tell, that used to be a blockbuster. Pizza Pizza, um, I believe that used to be a chicken restaurant. Donuts and Kalashis used to be Sonic and they moved over there instead of just expanding that. I don't know why. Yeah. And then to the right is Taco Casa and a computer shop that's been there my whole life. To the left, <laughs> Wholesome To Go used to be Alvin Orton's. I don't like this tour. Then, <laughs> there's the old Dunkin' Donuts and whatever the other place is called. That used to be the old Chefs and Dairy Queen. Hey, that was definitely a Dairy Queen. I mentioned that in yes. my Dunkin' Donuts video. And there's video. Jack in the Box if you want to get a laxative. <laughs> Alright. That's awesome. Everything else through here is not very interesting except for Gibson's. My cousin works there. Mm -hmm. I really wish this, this Lincoln in front of me would go away. They've been in the shot the whole time and go like extra super slow. Me. I know tomorrow morning I get up, I want to go do the dollar 
country here in Weatherford. Okay. I've been meaning to do that. <laughs> I love this courthouse building. Yeah, that's the Weatherford Square. I'm curious to know what this truck is doing. Doing your mom, doing, doing your mom. <laughs> that is a very nice little town though. They don't have the trees. Oh, they do. They're glittering. They're not red, white, and blue like they were. They're now glistening. Boy, this, I'll tell you, this Lincoln, man, is killer. It's how slow they go. We go around the circle. Go down 51 a little bit longer. Go back up towards the square and then go down one side right, of 180. To the right, you have Back Home Bakery. They are an incredible mm -hmm. bakery. Mm -hmm. I have some like relatives who have worked there or worked there. Mm -hmm. And then to the left, they have antique shops, a bunch of fun stuff like that. I love little stores like that. The train tracks here. This one is not very active at night. Well, I was thinking about that one that the bridge goes over, where all the tracks yeah, are Yeah, Kim said that that one and this one on the north side aren't active, very active at night. She said something about them being active in the morning. That's probably true. And then to the left, you have um, McGrattan Park, mm -hmm. and then you have Honeybee Ham. Honeybee Ham used to be a, before it was that, it was a nasty-ass pizza place that made me want to die. I had pizza there when I was seven. <laughs> or eight, and it was horrible. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> you like this detail tour? Yeah. This is going to be entertaining when I review the footage and go to put music over it. <laughs> and some, well, some of it all I might leave in here. Alright, and to, to lift, you've got Golden Chick. <laughs> golden Chick. Golden Chick is good. And then you've got Sonic and Dollar General. That Dollar General is fairly new and open about. 2012? So you have two Dollar Generals about a mile apart. Correct. <laughs> and then, um, see, we have a special memory of eating at that Sonic. Every time we would drop Chris off after Six Flags, we would stop there and get food. Mm -hmm. Like, Chris lives down this end one. Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess I'll turn around here yeah. in a minute. I could tell you where his house would be. It's actually like So we're heading back towards the court building here in downtown Weatherford. We have a beautiful court building. And to the right is Dillard Feed and Seed. They have a lot of seeds and plants and all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> Cow food, all that. Mm -hmm. And the people who are in are nice. going to the right then and I'll go up that way and then I'll go down the way towards Sheps. I'll go up this way because I, I want to get the full experience here of Weatherford even though there's not a whole lot up this way. Just go a little bit and then turn around and go the other way where that wonderful restaurant named Sheps is. Yes. It's First National Bank of Texas. And then to the left, you'll see First Baptist Church of Weatherford, which is, I believe, don't quote me on this, the biggest Baptist church in Weatherford. Damn. Yes. Wow. It's a very large church. And somebody told me it was the largest one that they have in the area. Wow. Yes. And there's Dairy Queen that's been there for years. Skinnies. Skinny's has good hamburgers. I haven't been there in over a decade. Well, 
Shires off on the left. Beals. Okay, I guess I'll turn around up here and head the other direction, and that'll wrap it up for this video. Because I don't need to go all the way to Mineral Wells or Abilene as much as I like Abilene. Not tonight. <laughs> In fact, I'll turn around. I'll turn around up here. Yeah, and then right there, on the right, that is a Spanish-speaking um, hair salon. So it's cool that they have, you know, hair salon that people who may not speak English can go to and still get services. Mm -hmm. Which I think that's cool. That's pretty cool. Like, but I mean, they cater to everybody. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. CJ's liquor and Ape's liquor. I think they're owned by the same people. Probably, based on the name. <laughs> Probably. Alright, now we're going to go down US 180 into downtown Weatherford again. And this will take us back down to the court building again. Past one of my favorite places to stop and get a good hamburger. Chefs. You want us to at Chefs? Wait, no, they close. They close at 10. No. I don't want to be the, you know, ignorant person that shows up an hour before they close because they're already starting closing duties. It's not that bad. Go there for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> somebody behind uh -oh. the restaurant. Yep. Somebody's getting in trouble behind Dairy Queen. Looks like Sean Inland is inside the DQ. You see him? Red shirt. I can't see because there's a pole directly in front oh. of him. Basically the new people. The pole is blocking the view. Oh, yeah, this is the DQ that's owned by like the Benchode. Hmm. Like the actual the actual Indian Benchode. And Tom Oh, uh, now I saw. <laughs> now I can see him. Tom was in there one time. And like he heard the guy like screaming at like one of the employees. Jeez. Yeah. You don't do that. No. Okay. Perfect time for the other light to turn red. Just got a green light and that one turned red. Yay. <laughs> lane because I need to go around the building and stay straight instead of using the right lane and turn into the right I want to continue around the court building and continue on US 180 and then that light turns red <laughs> but this is one of those instances you can go through it because it's a one-way street so you can make a right hand turn you can turn on red here can you? I don't know if I can at this light. I'm not going to push it. <laughs> it is kind of silly though that they got lights at a roundabout though. I mean, yeah. realistically this is a big roundabout and they got traffic lights at it. Look at this old car in front. That's a very old car. A night drive with Wally and Kaylee. There it is. There are chefs. Yep, to the right. Up a little bit more. Right, you see chefies. Chef They're hopping. Mm -hmm. They're hopping tonight. Nice night to sit on the patio, have a burger and a beer. 
<laughs> and they oftentimes do, uh, they oftentimes do live music, and it looks like they're doing live music tonight, yeah, too. They are hopping. <laughs> Highly recommend chefs if you ever come to this town or through. Mm -hmm. Albertsons is off camera to my left and then this bridge up ahead which is blocked by the truck is the bridge that goes over the train tracks and I love trains but I haven't been able to catch one down here yet train tracks and further into Weatherford here which this side if I'm not mistaken doesn't this take you out towards HEB and Hudson Oaks? Yes. If you keep heading this way this is going this east and if you keep heading this way it's going to take you into Hudson Oaks. To the right is Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. To the right is Domino's. We got <laughs> Domino's and Pizza Hut as stones are away from each other. Yep. Pizza Hut used to be actually up a little bit more closer. It's actually in one of these next shopping centers coming up. So, yeah. hmm. Well, this was a fun little ride. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I'm having, I'm having a nice ride. Are you having a nice ride? Yes, I am. I like how gas at that gas station is 289 and this one across the street is 269. Yeah, and I, so we're seeing <laughs> a Murphy Express. A Murphy by itself. Usually, I've never seen those outside of a Walmart. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope yeah. you liked. If you did, you know the drill. Don't speed like this guy unless you want a speeding ticket. Because the police do hide all over this road. So. All over. <laughs> all but right. Take care, everybody. Stay awesome. Have a Weatherfordlicious day. And don't speed like that guy because I think he's going to get pulled over in the next five minutes. Yep. He probably will. Because they're all out. Mm-hmm. Alright guys, have a nice night. Bye.